look at the broader philosophical point. Um, the Green Party of England and Wales has had two of fought two elections with two different sets of proposals of how to fund it. The first one in 2015 was very much focused on wealth taxes and you know taxing the rich in a way that we totally don't in the UK um, and and multinational companies. I think if we think about that, um, there's a, a way of looking at universal basic income as a way of distributing the, the social capital, the capital that history created that all the, that all of our ancestors you know, built structures, created wealth in society, uh, sometimes through colonialism, stole wealth, but nonetheless, the wealth is here now. And so you know, what we're doing is sharing out the resource that's available to everybody. One of my favorite lines on this is that um, if you put Bill Gates on a desert island, he wouldn't make a penny. Rich people, rich individuals and companies benefit from all the infrastructure that society's created. And what you're doing is, is sharing that out through the payment of universal basic income. What we did in 2019 was we changed the focus somewhat. And this was in some ways a result of the, the Gilets Jeunes, the um, Yellow Jacket protesters in France. And you know we saw with them a great deal of anger that relatively poor people felt they were being made with carbon taxes to pay while France was actually cutting taxes on the wealthy. Um, and so we looked at saying, here's a carbon tax and the money for the carbon tax goes to everybody through UBI. And that creates a very clear link between what we have to do on the environment with social justice. And so I think that's a, you know, another useful way of looking at it. But ultimately, of course, you know, the final thing to say is that COVID-19 as we saw with the financial crash, when they want to bail out the banks, when they want to bail out the economy, um, very large sums of money are found very quickly. They can be found, it can be done. Sometimes people say financing of uh, basic income is a problem, but I really don't think it's, it's a problem uh, because we know that there is uh, enough wealth and uh, the only question is how we distribute that wealth. I hope that there would be more fairness and justice in, in funding the corona crisis aftermath. Right now, many people have lost their jobs and lost their income and don't get that much social security. And at the same time, there is a problem of uh, unequal taxation, for example, in the European Union level. So many of the major corporations, businesses and owners uh, are paying very little taxes. So I think that we must look into these questions of uh, of fairness and justice in the tax systems and in what kind of project we fund.